Good day to you my viewers and subscribers Welcome back to my channel Welcome back to another video JK Engineering and Architecture Coming to you again So I want to say thanks to those of you Who have taken the time out to watch my videos And leave a comment Maximum respect for that So in today's video I am going to showcase to you a three bedroom split level dwelling house that I've been working on for the past couple of months now. This client of mine is a close relative and this building is going to be erected or constructed in the parish of Manchester, Jamaica. So as usual, if you find the video informative, if you like the video, Please share the video with others that share the same interest. Watch the videos until the end. Hit the thumbs up button because when you do these things, you give me more encouragement to do the research, to bring information to you as it relates to engineering, construction and architecture. So in the meantime, stay tuned for this video. And as usual, I can't say much more but watch the video and let me know what you think about this design thank you So here we have it folks. So this is the split level three bedroom dwelling house that I've been working on for the past couple of months now. It is somewhat in the final design stage unless there are other changes, probably minor changes. But for now, this is what I'm going to work with. I, I am pretty confident that this is the design. This, this is the design that I'm going to be working with finally. So this here, we have the main floor plan. So this is the main floor plan here. And to the left of the main floor plan, we have the split level floor plan. So this constitute this split level floor plan. So let me show you what the main floor plan is consist of. So Towards the front of the building, we have a entrance and we enter through this door here into a open concept, living, dining and kitchen. So we have our living, dining and kitchen, open concept. Then to the left of the entry, we have a office with a sliding door. So you can access the office from the living and dining area and then Toward the back of the kitchen, we have a rear balcony. Now, towards the right of the main floor plan, we have a single garage here with a storage area. The storage area we have of a dimension of three feet, six inches by three feet. Then we have a sliding door here leading from the garage into the living and dining area. So I didn't mention the dimension of the living and dining. The living and dining is 19 feet, six inches by 16 feet. And the kitchen is 12 feet, six inches by 13 feet. Now behind the garage, we have a bedroom with a bathroom. So the bathroom is six feet by eight feet. And we have a bedroom here which is consist of 12 feet by 11 feet, six inches. Now towards the left of the floor plan, we have two ensuite bedrooms. So the bedroom here carries its own bathroom and walk-in closet. So the, ba the bathroom here for this bedroom is eight feet, six inches by seven feet. And the walk-in closet is eight feet, six inches by five feet. Now the bedroom itself is 14 feet by 16 feet. I think that is a pretty good size bedroom. 
right and towards and behind the primary bedroom three we have primary bedroom four which is basically the same layout a 14 by 16 bedroom and a 8 feet 6 inches by 7 feet bathroom with a 8 feet 6 inches by 5 feet walking closet if the walking closet here is a little bit less because I have I have taken out a portion of it to have a linen closet here so these are the entrance to the mass to the primary bedroom you have a door here that goes into the primary bedroom four and you have a door here that goes into the primary bedroom three and we have a passage here of four feet i usually make my passages four feet are you know big enough that you don't have any difficulty in trying to get furnitures into into your room so you need to have your passage at least three feet wide or if you can be more you can make it more but at no given time it should be less than three feet now be now the kitchen here we have a door here that leads to the rear balcony and we have a staircase here that leads down to the split level portion and if you notice i have managed to get a storage wet area here so you can store your wet map your your buckets that you use to wipe out your house or to clean your house your sanitaries you can have this storage area here with a little tub right so that that constitutes the main floor plan area so as you see we have primary bedroom own bathroom own walk-in closet the same thing here primary bedroom own bathroom own walk-in closet and suite you have a open concept living dining and kitchen a rear balcony we have towards the front and an entrance a office area nine feet six inches by ten feet we have a garage single garage 14 feet by 20 feet a storage area inside the garage three feet six by three feet a bed a bedroom with a bathroom the bathroom six feet by eight feet the bedroom 12 feet by 11 feet six inches and then we have a storage area with a it is it is it with a sink you can wash your hands you can do your laundry there although we have there's a main laundry downstairs and this is the staircase that leads down to the split level so there we have it folks so that's the main floor area so let me take you to what the split level floor looks like so coming down this staircase here we you enter into this area we have a rear porch to the left here and a laundry six feet by six feet six inches then we have a door that leads to the entertainment area slash kitchenette and that area is of a dimension of 18 feet six inches by 16 feet now to the left there's an end suite bedroom own bathroom own walk-in closet the bathroom size is 10 feet by seven feet and the walking closet is six feet by seven feet and behind the walking closet here we have a half bathroom or otherwise known as a powder room now to the right we have again an end suite bedroom with own bathroom own walking closet this bedroom this bathroom consists of five feet six inches let me, do, let me zoom up on that and see the dimension clearly so it's five feet six inches by eight feet and the bedroom is 12 feet four inches by 13 feet six inches so there you have it folks so that's pretty much the layout of the floor plan and the split level floor plan so let me show you what the elevation of the structure look like so we have elevation one here so that's what the building look like so this is what the building is going to look like from the front and this is what the building is going to look like looking from the right side the right elevation so we have the front elevation here the front elevation and we have the right side elevation 
So let me show you what Elevation 2 is like. So this is the rear elevation looking towards the back of the structure, the back of the building. So this is what the building looks like from the back. And this is what the building looks like from the left. So this is the left elevation of the structure. So that is what the building looks like from both the rear and from the left side. So let me show you what the roof plan looks like. So this is the roof plan. So initially I was going to deck the entire the entire thing, but I'm not a person that is that's that's you know like deck roof because deck roof gives a lot of problem. Concrete, you know, is very porous and is always subjected to leaking. And when it starts leaks, it is very difficult to remediate that problem or to fix that problem. So what I introduced for this building is a composite roof. So all the bedrooms, I roof over the bedrooms and then put reinforced concrete decking over the remaining of the structure. So all this roof area here is over each bedroom and the office area here. So this is the bedroom to the back, bedroom to the front. This is the office area here and this is the bedroom to the, the side on the right side. So let me just show you about what that looks like on, 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 on the on the on the plan. So, so if you notice I'm going to roof over this bedroom here. Let me get it back to a reasonable size. Right? So I'm going to roof over this bedroom. Put a open roof over this bedroom, a reflected roof. I'm gonna sark it, and I'm gonna, and then this bedroom is gonna be roof also independently, and then this bedroom is gonna be roof also independently, and this office space here is going to be roof independently as well, and the remaining of the roof is going to be reinforced concrete deck. So that is what you call a composite roof. Now, so let me show you what this site plan looks like. So this is a layout of the building on the site. So I took, I think, 40 feet from the center line of the road. So I, <clears throat> I offset the building 40 feet from the center line of the road. And this line here, this line here represents the center of the road. So that is a look of what the building looks like. So this is just a preliminary set out of the building and site. If you notice, there are no drainage showing on, on, on the site plan here. And it is not as detailed because it is not finished. But pretty much, the building fits easily on the site. Right? Offset 40 feet from one side. I think from the side here to the side side boundary or the side property line i think that is nine feet so the building is offset nine feet from the property line here 40 feet from the center line of the road and it is also offset from the other side the opposite side seven feet ten inches so you can call it eight feet eight feet i think i was trying to get eight feet but when i actually put the dimension it is showing me seven feet ten inches so that is what the building looks like on the side. So that is it. So that's all I have to show you in regards to the design of this building. So let me know what you think about the design in the comment section. If you like the design or if there are some things that you think I should add to add to the building aesthetically or otherwise you can let me know in the comment section so let me know what you think and as usual i want you to watch the video until the end and if you like it share it with a friend and tell a friend to tell a friend so take care of yourself and i will catch you in my another video i think i'm going to upload up another video this week or probably early next week but when that time comes 
ensure to do the same watch it leave comments share and subscribe no respect thank you